one of the largest Tambuti trees that I know of out here. Isn't that an absolute beauty of a tree? This is also, incidentally, the largest Tambuti grove that I know of here at Juma and consists of about 60 or 70 trees that are around about this size and a little bit smaller and a fantastic grove of trees it is. Tambuti, of course, a Tambuti thicket, of course, which is what we're standing in right here along the edge of this drainage line, is one of the rarest forest types in the whole of the world and definitely the rarest forest type in South Africa. And we've got a lovely thicket of them here, which stretches about a mile or two by a couple of, a couple of hundred yards wide by a mile or two down. That's how big this one is here. Now, I feel like I've lost an old friend. I, uh, I came down to this particular point in the reserve because I wanted to show you, <coughs> excuse me, I wanted to show you the flowers on this boer bean tree. This tree for the last two years has produced <coughs> the showiest spray of flowers that I could find on any of the boer beans uh, out here. But it's been knocked over and it was knocked over by a tambuti tree incidentally which fell over because um, some fungus had gotten into the tree itself. So the tree was injured in some way <coughs> and um, you can see here fungus managed to get into the tree and eat away at the what is relatively hard, I shouldn't be able to bend this, but I am because of the fact that there's, there, is, uh, there is some rot that happened. And you can even see here where it tore apart as it was falling, that not the healthiest of trees, but it managed to then take this tree, which is the, which is the boer bean tree, which had been growing through it. Have a look there. There's the, the boer bean tree had grown through the intertwined and interlaced branches of this uh, of this of this Tambuti tree, and then it uh, it got taken with, unfortunately, and it's bent here. I don't think it's dead, to be honest. The tree itself is still growing. You can see here that although it broke over there, and I think it'll it, you know termites and that will get in there now. It's still got bark that's entire and that's still feeding the leaves which is why you can see these green leaves here so the tree itself is still alive but I think yeah I'm also quite sad that my my tree was pushed over thank you very much for sharing my sentiments I think there's testimony to what did it ultimately this mud that you see here is where elef an elephant has rubbed uh, itself and I think what happened is an Ellie went for a mud bath somewhere and then came and scratched himself on this tree. And I think that was the end of it. You can see the mud coming off and flaking off here. Could have been in a storm as well, but I think it's more likely that an elephant rubbed himself against this tree and then just rubbed himself a little bit too hard and then pushed it down and the weight of the tambuti then just dragged my friend with it, this boer bean tree. Yeah, and we had some fun around this tree. Last year it would have been around about October time as well. Uh, we came and stood underneath this tree and had an afternoon watching how many sunbirds were coming in and out and feeding on this particular tree. We did some fantastic sunbird segments here last year. Anyway, I suppose that's what happens. We just got to go and find another boer bean tree with some more flowers on it. That's what we're going to have to do. It's been lovely walking in here actually. It, the breeze has started to pick up where it was absolutely dead quiet about 15 minutes ago. The breeze is is picking up as the clouds are solidifying and you can see the top of the tree there is starting to just catch the first little bit of it. I wonder if that's going to start to blow. Now, Anna Marie, you'd like to know when the beautiful tree wisterias are going to start blooming. Anna Marie, I've actually seen them uh, all over the place uh, blooming with the exception of here and I think it's because I just haven't seen one in actual fact talking about tree wisteria let's see if that's got some flowers on. let me take you to a tree wisteria let's go and see what it's doing if that is one it looks like one um, I've seen quite a few tree wisterias in flower and they they are beautiful at the moment. One thing I have also noticed is the apple leaves uh, are starting to flower as well. There's a fantastic apple leaf just close to the camp which is putting on a beautiful show at the moment. Let's go and see if we can find, find you a 
a tree wisteria with some flowers on it. This one is just getting its flowers now, Anna Marie. There's one flower for you. You can see they, they're just starting to come down. So we're still in for a bit of a show, which is a good thing. The tree wisteria will start to flower in a little bit. Very difficult filming against the sky, to be honest. So excuse me, I'm just getting the picture right. <coughs> it's dark on the ground and in this forest. And when you lift up the camera, it has a bit of a, a moment to, to try and readjust. Let me see if I can bring this down. <coughs> Here we go. For those of you who don't know what a tree wisteria flower looks like, this is one here, and the tree gets full of them. So, Anna Marie, there's your tree wisteria flower. Just one, though, not a whole spray of them. <laughs> 